if this video reaches 1,000 likes, we'll be giving away two of our t-shirts from the Malliminous store, including the rare rarity and daring do variants. We all know the fandom is obsessed with shit, so much so you'd think we were all navy seals with over 300 confirmed kills. But dank memes aside, I want to go over the top 10 ships the fandom has come up with. This by no means will be an exhaustive list, and will be heavily biased, but that just adds the fun. Warning, there be flame wars below. Anyways, number 10. Ew, what are you fucking straight? The first one is a little boring for my taste, but I know there's a lot of people out there who would love the idea of Flutter Mac being canon, even though he seems to be taken by two other mares. It makes sense, the two are very shy and caring individuals, and they should probably be grouped together. However, I imagine the conversations would be as loud as a silent disco or a mime convention. Number 9 Our number 9 spot it's one of the more common ships of Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. They've been childhood friends for a while and even went, and even went to camp together. And you know what happens at camp? Absolutely fucking nothing if you're me. But I'm sure these two had a much more interesting and experimental camp time at their junior speedster flight camp than I did. Number 8! Can you smell that? It's either fire or lust. Though with this couple, it's probably both. The sexual frustration between Applejack and Rarity can be cut with a knife. And while the show probably intended it to be simply two friends butting heads, the Phantom took it as a sign these characters must work out their differences with high impact kissing. Number 7. What could be described as another case of, of opposites attract Octavia and Vinyl Scratch. They're one of the most shipped characters. The prep meets the greaser, the rich girl and the guy from the slums. This music powerhouse duo seemed perfect together. How they almost never stood next to each other or had any dialogue with one another. Of course, due to just how hard the fandom shipped them, episode 100 certainly made sure the show is just how loving and crazy their true love is. Number 6. What happens when you mix a time machine with muffins? An adorable, prolific ship of Dr. Hoofs and Derpy, aka Muffins. One of the most common ships and probably one of the most long-running one. It's a bit vanilla, but not everything has to be extreme, right? This couple has had numerous plays and animations made about them. I dare say, it's borderline canon at this point, if you consider episode 100 canon, I guess. Number 5. Another straight one. Common in the fandom, though it's not as common as others, since people like to think of Rainbow as nothing more than a lesbian car wash. With how close Rainbow's obsession over the over the Wonder Boats dips into the side of a fanatic, it's not too much of a stretch to see her as a stalker girlfriend story. Thankfully, the show writers have left that out of the main arc, and even left it out of episode 100. Thank God. Number 4. Well, this is awkward. On one hand, Spike is about the same age as Twilight, give or take a few years. But he is often referenced as a baby. And Rarity is a full-grown mare. A very full-grown mare. But it's one of the few four ships in the show and at least deserves some mention on this list. Number 3. Remember when I said this was my list? Well, this next one may not be mainstream, but it's one I ship like FedEx. Sunset and Adagio, two bad girls fighting their way to be kind of less bad, but still kind of bad, but good in the long run. Perhaps it's the fact I love bad girl storylines, but these two dominant alpha personalities are something I always love to see. I couldn't make this list and not add them on it. Number 2. I'm not sure why the next two are on here. I mean, they are just best friends, right? Why would anyone think these guys should be shipped? Facade aside, these two started being shipped hard. Simply because of circumstantial placement, eventually the show gave in and all but said their love in episode 100. And the number one ship goes to Twilight and Flash Sentry. The real ship 
goes to Starlight Glimmer and Trixie. Besides the unpacking her wagon being a clear innuendo for sex, the chemistry between the two were far too good to be anything but true passionate hot lesbian love. Not to mention Trixie literally tries to kill herself after messing up with the two had. This is a ship that I want to see grow in the show, but seeing as how they've been forgetting that Starlight Glimmer and the map exists, I'm not too hopeful for it to ever become a reoccurring event. Anyways, I look forward to the fanfic writers picking up where the show writers left off. Anyways guys, that's my list. I know I left a lot out, like the Spa Twins for instance, but I didn't feel like getting into incest in here. Anyways, feel free to let me know what I missed down below in the comments and tell me what your favorite ships were. I've been Faith or Voluminous and be sure to like this video. And subscribe if you're not already to join the herd today. Woo!